Okay, how's my awesome music makers doing out there? Been a little while, like 10 days, eight, nine days, something like that. Well, uh, got a few things to tell you. The, uh, this is like the down shoulder, as we kind of talked about before, there's a down shoulder going on right now and people are getting ready for winter. Um, and this is a ski season up here in Big Bear. There's a lot of places that are closing down that I played at, or uh, the, the, um, uh, the social has uh, stopped. Actually, they're veterans that they have been playing there for a while. They're actually, if they're, they're he, he, I still could get a call from him because there's pockets of good weather, like on the weekend. If it falls on, he'll, he'll well, one thing about him, if the weather's great, he'll call some artist in, you know, and he'll rotate. He's pretty good about that. So, but anyways, it's pretty much done for the winter. And we got a storm coming in. Uh, I, a little storm. I don't know if it's going to be big. It's like S Southern Cal, really? They get storms? I didn't know Southern Cal got storms. But anyways, uh, so this is the time to uh, maybe put in a couple new songs. Uh, learn some new songs. Um, I got a couple Beatles songs I'm going to put on the list. And I invested and bought a pack. Is it, They're cheap harmonicas. They're not real expensive. But I think it was like... I don't know, forty or fifty dollars for the for a pack of um, of harmonicas because I've got a harmonica. I went and bought a harmonica holder, so I'm going to start using that because there's a lot of songs. There's some Tom Petty, some Neil Young, uh, Beatles that use harmonica, and that those harmonica licks they're nothing, anything. You know, I I played harmonica for you know, back in the day when I was in school and stuff. And so, uh, and even farting around and I've even put some harmonica tracks on some of my own songs. So I know how to play harmonica a little bit, you know, I mean, I'm not a smoking hot player or anything, but a lot of these songs, these cover songs that we do have those little signature licks, whether it's on guitar or it's on harmonica. So I went and bought a nice little full set of harmonicas even got some flats in there, I think, and uh, and then I bought a harmonica holder. So I'm gonna work that into my uh, my show, right? So I'm gonna do that, and, and, and I'm gonna learn a, a few more songs since we're doing on the downtime. And also, this is the time to knock on doors on venues that uh, have live music inside. So this is actually a little example about getting your foot into the door. Let me show you this here. Funny. We already got back to me. Ooh, okay, let's see. Okay, so I sent him an electronic pe press kit. This is called the Bar and Grill, uh, Big Bear Bar and Grill. That's uh, on the other side of the lake, and it's a pretty nice little venue. They've got, or it's not that little. It's pretty big. They got two separate rooms. The stage room is not connected with the bar, which I don't really like so much. I like to be able to have the. I like it a more open plan where you can see the bar because a lot of people don't like to leave the bar. They just want to sit there. And then if there's another room that has live entertainment, the hardcore music people will go in there. But for the most part, a lot of people won't. They'll just stay at the bar and listen, right? He says, it says, okay, this guy, he got back to me, really nice guy. I met him a couple times and he owns that bar and grill. All right. So it looks good my man thank you very much i'll be meeting with my partner tonight uh, to see about getting you uh getting getting you and how much do you charge per show set whatever we don't have a big budget but typically venues uh, typically our venue is from five to nine so he's talking like four hours right so uh, nights and uh, would be available to play Thursday, which is good if we switch things up in a week, question mark. So I got back to him and I said, I, this is what I told him. I said, that sounds super. I says, typically I'm 125 an hour or, or set, however you want to work that out. Uh, but I, but the pale, I told him the pale, the pay scale seems a little low up here which is fine so i have been giving a couple of venues that i play at a good friend's price which is a hundred an hour and I, and then i put in parentheses two hour minimum also i will help you promote thursday night and i will put out an electronic flyer 
you to use on your social media as I've been pretty lucky building a following with steady venue gigs. Maybe you can uh, try me out Thursday for a couple hours and go from there. Let me know if you can. So, yeah. So, anyways, let me know if you... And I will make up a flyer for you and I'll get it to get it to you. So I'm I'm corresponding with this guy. See what he says. He says, so that that be great if it's if it builds up, can work out getting you more money if the revenue comes up on that night, which is fair enough, right? Uh, comes in on that night. And I would uh, to uh, I would like to do something on Thursdays that draws people in. Thursdays can work. But unfortunately, 200 bucks is about all I have and would need to do at least three hours, if that. If uh, that's something you can do, uh, then I can let you know tonight if, uh, if you can start Thursday. Yes, we usually do. Oh, so yeah, I told them about, I told them that I would do it, right, basically. As long as I got my breaks, 45 on, 15 off, and all that stuff. And I'll do three hours for 200 whatever. But um, he says, yes, usually uh, we do 45, 15, set things, set thing, standards. And that's great. Thank you very much. I will let you know tonight after I talk to my partner. And we will, we do include food and beer drinks per set set anything but a couple of entrees or top shelf liquor he laughs out loud um if i don't text you reach back at goes into smaller print okay tonight sir okay i will answer him but anyway so that's what's going on on that so yeah sometimes you gotta and you know how this is how i look at it taking a low pay job like that hey you know what it's uh, a paid rehearsal as far as I'm concerned I don't know what kind of crowd he's gonna draw when I went in the other night it was on a Friday early like around four or five and there was a lot of people in there I was surprised and I heard the band play and they I they had just finished remodeling this other room so I heard a band playing I'm like where is a band at and I, got up and I kind of followed the sound you just go around the corner through this doorway there's no door on it but you go through the doorway and the bands there's they've got a stage set up there and everything so it's, it seems like a pretty cool venue so yeah so he wants me to do three hours for 200 and I told him yes yeah, I says you know sometimes I'll go over if the crowd's good I'll go over and stay there but anyway so what we're gonna do is so we're gonna feel it out so I'll hear back from him tonight and we'll see what happens with that. And so, uh, yeah, so this is that time to knock on doors. Yeah, you gotta, sometimes you gotta just finagle a little bit. Don't feel bad, you know, whatever. It's just, you know, we're in a screwed up clusterfuck uh, 22. And, uh, you know, we're in a recession, even though nobody uh, on the blue side wants to admit it. But we are in a recession. Everything's high crime is up it's just insane so anyways um yeah so let's see what happens with that but this is the time to get out and knock on doors and get your foot in the door uh and it's, you know i've never played this place before now this place i think i mentioned it on a previous um uh, uh previous um a post where I had talked to this guy before and I think I mentioned to you guys have been on here for a while that the guy wanted me to play in his band as a guitar player I didn't want to you know he saw what I did and he actually heard some of my singles uh my original music and he's like dude we need a guitar player and, and come to find out the guy wasn't even the owner he was uh he's the uh, boyfriend to the owner his girlfriend actually is one of the owners and Mike is the other owner so now that I got it straightened out it was such a coincidence because we ran into Mike I went over Kim was bartending at the moose because she got a bartending gig now and they just love her to death and she works on the nights that I play so it works really uh, cool but anyways um, yeah so uh, it just ended up being kind of like a 
blessing, you know. All of a sudden, I, I, I'm in line buying a ticket because they had a raffle at the Moose. And I wasn't playing that night. I did play Saturday, but this was Friday night. And sure enough, after talking to him, had that little meeting with him, um, he told me to send him his, my, my press kit to him. And so I left, it was really short, and shook hands with them, and seemed like a pretty decent guy. And then I take off to the Moose to go, because Kim was working uh, the Moose uh, Friday night. And uh, so I went in there just to get some food and you know, something to drink and buy a couple raffle tickets, because they're raffles like up to 10 grand. So <laughs> I could use 10 Gs. Um, anyway, so, uh, but I didn't win. Uh, so, yeah, and then all of a sudden I'm standing in line for the raffle and I look behind me and it's Mike, the guy I just got through talking to an hour ago. He brought his wife and he's in line with me and he's going, hey, it's like, wow, okay, cool. So he's a Moose Lodge member. So I got that going for him and I guess he's talked to a couple people saying, you know, if you don't freaking hire this dude or get him into your, get your, you know, it'll be worth it. So, you know, I got uh, some good words. That was nice. But yeah, so that's what's going on. Uh, you know, if you're if uh, you're waiting to hear back at venues and and stuff like that for you new guys, uh, and I know there's a few of you out there that are just starting that that had been out of the business for a while, and you're brushing up your chops on your guitar and and vocals. Uh, get out there and go solo, man. It's never too late. Never too late, and there's room for everybody. There's you know, there's just there it just is. So yeah, let's do this. Let's get it done. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what winter brings, right? Uh, what else could I tell you? That's about it. This is the time. Bring in a couple new songs, uh, freshen up your set, stuff like that. And uh, that's what I do. You know, maybe you guys got a whole different outlook, a whole different thing, but yeah. And so I'm looking at this gig though, real quick and I was just talking to Kim I'm going god that's that's a little low you know I mean Kim goes well maybe you can meet him at 250 for three hours and because you know a hundred dollars an hour is my good friend's price so but he doesn't have a budget he doesn't know who the fuck I am uh but he's heard about me and it's all good and so yeah so I look at it like this you know what and if I can make some tips and get some people in there and build up a following there, he said he'll bring up my pay. And um, and that'll work out, you know, that sounds good to me. I mean, and it's a Thursday night. So I still have, well, I'm every other Saturday at the Moose Lodge. Boy, it's getting cold. We got a storm coming in. So anyways, hey, I want to thank you guys all for, um, hey, Buzz, uh, Thank you for your donation. I don't know if I had mentioned it to you last time, but thank you for the donation. I got a little donation thing. You guys want to help support the channel. Um, and I want to thank you all that everybody that's, that's helped donate and I appreciate it. Every, every bit helps. And so, uh, and also I want to thank you guys also so much for uh, a response and giving a listen to my song. That song, first off, a is the key of a is too high so but not but i recorded this song that that single uh a half a step down so i'm a half so it was recorded that key that song is in a flat and um it's it was borderline i almost couldn't sing it so i don't know my voice is a little you know luckily i quit smoking so i'm able to hit some of those high notes but um a very bluesy kind of song and I wanted to do a song like that with the with that very bluesy guitar you know and um, yeah so uh, thanks for you guys for giving a listen on that that means more to me than you know and as as well as the donations and stuff like that but yeah you guys keep rocking I'm gonna come out I won't wait as long um, I just had to get all my ducks in a row and I had some prospective gigs and and Kim started the new, you know, her little uh, 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 bartending job at the Moose. And so just a lot of stuff going on. So, but I'm always going to make time weekly or at least every seven to between seven to 10 days, no longer than that, uh, get up a post and keep you guys posted. 
uh, and, and we'll go from there. But man, I, I just thank you guys so much for the love and the, and the comments and stuff like that. It means a lot to me. Um, you guys all rock. You guys are all music makers. So get out there and, and, and use it. Use that music and uh, soothe some souls and, uh, and uh, spread some smiles around because uh, we need it. We need it. So peace for now. We will talk to you next week. All right. And I'll give you some updates and I'll have a, uh, probably have a better subject to talk about. But this is that time. Get in the woodshed. Learn some. Freshen up your sets. Put uh, practice songs you hadn't done in a while or bring in some new ones. And that's what I'm doing. And uh, that's it. So that's that. That's my uh, story. I'm sticking to it. So talk to you guys soon. Ciao. Thank you.